Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of wooden table in Autodesk Inventor software. So here you can see, this is the wooden part and this is the glass part. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now go to 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Take the line command and make a center line over here. Make here a center line. Escape. Go to dimension. Define this as 2500. Okay. Now double click to fit. Now from here, take the arc command. And here we'll make an arc profile. Go to dimension. Define this radius as 1500 mm. Okay, and the distance of bottom from center point will also be 1500. Okay, now go to here, we will select the horizontal constraint and select this point and select this point. So it will be horizontally aligned. Now go to dimension, define this dimension as. 2000 okay now escape now go to vertical constraint select this point and select this point now this is fully defined sketch escape and here select this line make it a construction geometry now go to offset select this drag cursor this side enter and here take an offset of 200 mm. Okay. Escape. Double click this and activate. So this will be 200 mm offset. Now we'll join the profile. To close this, go to line and join here. Similarly, join profile here. Escape. Now go to dimension. Select this. Right click. And click on aligned so it will be 200 similarly select this right click go to aligned this will be 200 and ok escape now here as it is moving ok so it is not aligned properly select this ok select coincident select this point and select this point now this is fully constrained scale. Here you can see fully constrained sketch. Now go to finish sketch. Zoom out. Go to revolve command. And for revolve, this will be the axis. And press OK. OK. So this will be the wooden part, the base. Now here you can see we have cut this part in sections. So go to origin. Select the XY plane, go to create sketch, go to view, change the view visual style to wireframe. Ok, take sketch, take the line command and here make a triangle profile. Ok, and from here select the center point and select the stop point. Ok, escape. Now Go to dimension, select this top and this base. So, this will be a dimension of 750 mm, and from bottom, this will be outside at 500 mm. Now, go to vertical constraint, select this point and select this point. So, this will be vertically aligned to this center point. Now, go to dimension. Define here an angle. So this will be 20 degree and okay. Okay. Now go to 3D model, take extrude, select these profiles, and here take cut, flip the direction, and here drag the cursor outside. Okay, so you will see a cut profile. Go to view visual style, shaded edges. So it will be more clear. 
so this was like this now you drag the mouse so this cut profile will appear and press ok ok now we are going to make the other this cut profile the top cut for top cut we will construct a new plane so select the y axis right click and turn on the visibility now we are going to construct the new plane so, so go to plane select this center axis and here select the yz plane here it will ask you on which angle you want to construct the plane so by default this is 90 we will change it to 45 so this will be the new plane and press ok ok now rotate the view select this axis right click turn off the visibility select this plane go to create sketch go to view visual style change it to wireframe go to sketch again go to line command make a triangle profile join till here now select this point and select this point escape select this line or go to horizontal constraint select this point and select the center point go to dimension this bottom and select this top so this will be at a distance of 750 1750 and this will be at a distance of 500 m now define the angle here at 20 degree and escape select this line make it construction go to 3d model extrude select both the profiles rotate the view to home rotate the view to this view ok now take it cut flip the direction go to view visual style change it to shaded edges now here you can see so this cut will be this side back side ok so here this cut will be along this previous cut now press ok so this will be the second cut now go to a circular pattern and select extrude 2 and extrude 1 ok and here go to rotation axis select the y axis Take here a count of 4 and press OK. Select this plane, select this plane, right click, turn off the visibility. So, this will be the base. OK. Now, go to fillet command. Take here a fillet radius of 100 mm. Go to edge selection and here we will start rotate the view. And once again, we start from here, select this, select this, ok, select this corner, rotate, select this profile, select this corner, select this profile, ok, and similarly, we will select this bottom, this profile also, this and this, ok and apply exit now go to circular pattern once again select fillet 1 go to rotation axis and select the y axis here take a count of 4 and press ok so it will provide the radius to all the edges ok rotate ok ok Go to fill it again. Select these profiles also. Bottom and OK. Now I think radius is provided at bottom to all the edges. OK. So it is good. Now we will define the pro uh, color or first 
we'll make the glass profile for glass profile select the x5 plane go to create sketch now go to the line command from the center point construct the line here till the here and join till here go to dimension define this height as 100 mm and this dimension as 2000 okay and escape now from here go to 3d model take revolve select this profile and here select this axis for rotation here we will take a new solid so this will be a new solid profile and press ok from here you can see we have two solid bodies now solid one this bottom and solid two this upper glass go to home now we will define the appearance so solid one we will select first from here drag the cursor and at bottom we will select the white as java ok so it will look like a wooden profile now for glass select the solid 2 and here we will take the clear, uh, clear glass so go to top and here it is so we will select clear light so this will be the appearance ok go to home so this will be the final profile of the table so this was a simple tutorial to how to construct a wooden table in Autodesk Inventor software I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you